Welcome back once again for another SnowRunner truck review. Today we're going to take a look at a newly added very capable heavy truck found in the new region Ontario Canada in the first season of the year 3 pass. So before we start I ask that you please help support the channel by liking the video and subscribing to the channel as well. Alright so without further ado let's jump into this and check it out. In 1981, the U.S. military awarded a contract to truck manufacturer Oshkosh for the production of the 8x8 Heavy Expanded Mobility Tactical Truck. While having multiple variants, Oshkosh rebuilt its first M1120 in late 1999. By 2021, the company had manufactured 35,800 new Hemets of all types in support of the military's needs. Having this Department of Defense contract, Oshkosh built rather heavy, rugged trucks that despite their weights reaching up to almost 80,000 pounds, could reach speeds of 62 miles per hour. In SnowRunner, the Dairy Special 15 Charlie 177 is one of the more exciting additions to the game for the North American fleet. While not holding up to those speeds that we previously mentioned, it is very powerful, very heavy, and also has gone through multiple changes in the production phase during its time on the PTS server, and they have been favorable. So without wasting any more time, the base stats will briefly be on your screen for viewing as usual while we jump right into the downsides list at the number one spot, stability. While there are a few concerning downsides about the dairy, to open up this list I felt balance should be mentioned first. The 15 Charlie indeed has more weight placed lower on the vehicle, but it's not by much. Even though the suspension properties seem rather decent, the weight in the cab tends to hinder the vehicle's balance. Compared to some of the larger heavy trucks, this came as a disappointment. Factor that knowledge in with the additions of add-ons and you can see how this will further influence tipping. However, to help aid in balance, the wider set MHS2 tires is a good option to consider. Downside number two, maneuverability. During its tenure on the public test server, the dairy steering angles were very terrible. Yet with recent updates, its turning circle is indeed smaller. With a smaller turning circle, believe it or not, turning into a balance upsetting moment with a sharp turn can save you from tipping. Even though this area has been improved in the PTS server, it is still outclassed in maneuverability by other heavy trucks. Downside number three, front overhang. A little later, we'll learn some interesting details about the dairy in this department, but even though it has an upsloping front end, it still can get hung up right under its nose from its collision model. While it hasn't been an issue so far, it's worth mentioning that you might have potential hangups. Downside number four, wheel spin. Despite the 15 Charlie being rather heavy, I did notice wheel spin quite a bit. Oddly, the vehicle would be in fifth gear, moving very slowly, yet not driving all tires in motion. The power is evident due to not downshifting, but this is where in some cases high gear felt like more power was being fed than in auto and the pace was actually pretty steady. Other ways to combat this as we know is low gear and adding differential locking into the equation. Downside number five, power bleed off. As previously mentioned in downside number four, sometimes the truck feels as if some wheels aren't getting power. Funny enough, even with its massive amounts of power, I'm still observing axles freezing up upon power test even under the influence of adding differential locking. Somehow it seems like it's not tapping into its full potential power output, especially in diff lock. Prior to testing this, I recall making claims that it would be a diff lock monster in low gear and have wheel spin, power bleed off outside of low gears. I was right about one and wrong about the other. Still, I believe its power is pretty epic. And finally, coming in at downside at number six, missing always on differential locking. To close out this list, I believe the answer would be an always on differential locking. As said in previous videos, a lot of performance is left on the table on 8x8 trucks with switchable features. Yet I do understand that we can't have everything on every vehicle, right? Truly though, for this truck to have a chance at being a contender to the current King and Usurper, I think this feature would need to be a must and be fixed as well. 
yet I'm actually still impressed. While our downsides list might seem off-putting, I urge you to stick around because I believe the Dairy Special 15 Charlie 177 has plenty of good qualities to satisfy players. Here are the pros. Breaking into the upsides list at the number one spot, power, all-wheel drive, and differential locking. Our number one spot stands firm as one of the biggest highlights of this vehicle. During my three years and thousands of hours playing this game, I never thought we'd see an engine this strong, but what a pleasant surprise it has been. With the addition of the Dairy, it beats the previous number one engine by 20,000 torque and it's complemented by an always-on all-wheel drive and a switchable diff lock. Despite issues mentioned in the downsides, I have been very impressed with the power output even though I do believe there should be some minor adjustments. Moving on, as we continue revealing the coalition of upsides, we have to bring up the number two upside, tires. While power output is the biggest surprise in this list, the 15 Charlie's tire size coupled with the options it can have are favorable to say the least. Having the ability to use its custom tire and the OHS2 are great options. However, not many 8x8s in the game can use the MHS2 single wide track. Being a wider tire than the Custom, the OHS2, and the MHS1, this will help with lateral stability which was mentioned in the downsides. Tire options for drivers will always be a great thing, and let's not forget about the chained tire options as well. Personally, I believe you can swap tire loadouts around for your choosing, but the MHS2 is a strong pick adding lateral stability as mentioned previously and allowing to traverse the deepest areas. Upside number three, weight. Not only does the Dairy have the largest engine in the game currently, some of the larger tires in the game, but it's also one of the heavier vehicles in the game as well. After 50 plus reviews, we kinda understand weight definitely is beneficial in the off-roading world. As you can see, the Upside Coalition is coming together nicely, but let's continue with Upside number four, durability. As players, we all kind of understand how unrelenting the damage amounts can be on vehicles when you're traversing in the wilderness. In truth, the Dairy's engine actually is somewhat of a glass cannon, but don't worry because just like the Azov 5319, it is an armored vehicle. This will make it pretty hard to take damage to that precious engine compartment. Also, due to the 15 Charlie being pretty slow, with the advanced special gearbox, you won't be taking damage that much anyways. Upside number five, versatility. In general, heavy class trucks are kind of specialized for what they offer. While there are a few outliers that can fulfill multiple roles, the dairy joins the group that can offer quite a bit. The term versatility doesn't necessarily mean add-on capabilities. There are quite a few trucks in the game that can attach add-ons yet they aren't well suited for that role. I believe for the Dairy being a heavy truck, it's quite versatile being one of the few heavy class trucks to have a small crane, sideboard bed, and also attaching a hitch trailer as well. We also need to add in that it can hold a water tank for firefighting, which is in phase nine. Upside number six, performance. While being pretty critical during the downside portion of this video, I do believe the performance is pretty impressive. From the changes in its collision model hitbox, gearbox, and steering angles, Sabre really helped make the Dairy a very strong vehicle in its class. All those upsides culminate to our current here at number 6, but we're not done yet. Upside number 7, Range. Initially, during a small stint on the PTS server, I noticed the 15 Charlie followed its brother's steps, the 4520, in having an off-road and high-range gearbox. A lot of folks on the PTS also noticed the fuel consumption values being very high. However, the Dairy with the advanced special gearbox has Zix 605R type burn values. This is very, very good. Having a large gas tank, as well as a roof rack, the Dairy's uptimes are much longer than they would have been with the other gearbox options. Yet I do wonder how crazy it would have been with the high range gearbox. And finally, to wrap up the upsides list at the number 8 spot, easy to unlock. 
To wrap up the upsides list here, it's not hard to notice the dairy isn't really difficult to unlock. Yes, there are a few steps to get the actual contract, but they go rather fast. I have to say I was pleased to be able to use this truck throughout the whole region and not the latter half like prior seasons. So in conclusion, the changes made to the dairy during its tenure on the PTS server have been favorable. For those who have tested this truck on the PTS and have provided feedback to Sabre, thank you. Without your feedback, I don't think this truck would have been where it is currently. The 15 Charlie as it stands now is one of the stronger trucks in the game and I think that's evident. Is it a contender for the Zix? No. The Dairy has really nice add-ons, but the Zix 605R still has superior tire size, tire width, stability, and always-on differential locking. In closing, the Dairy 15 Charlie 177 is one of my favorite additions to the game. I think we all have been wanting a vehicle of this type for quite some time. It does have some concerning issues that could get resolved in the future, but its upsides overshadow its flaws. Try this monster out and let me know what you think. I hope this review gave you a fresh, new perspective of the Dairy Special 15 Charlie 177. Please smash that like button, share the video with someone who is currently struggling with the game, and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss any future content. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and as always, God bless and stay upright.